Hello, hello, hello. Today is February 2, 2022. Problem number 134. An LRC circuit. Oh my goodness, that scares so many of you, but it shouldn't. Not in this case. The fact that it is an LRC circuit uh, almost means that if you only high school physics, maybe you don't want to get involved with this problem. That's perfectly okay. Although in advanced high school, yeah, you, they should be able to solve this problem. Certainly, this is a problem that people for JEE main should be able to do. And by all means, for JEE advanced. That should be a piece of cake. Now, this problem is trying to see whether you have physics in your blood rather than that you remember equations. Physics is not about equations. It's a misconception. Physics is about concepts. And this problem is a striking example of that. The LRC circuit, as shown, is driven by a power supply whose EMF is V0 cosine omega t. In steady state, the current through the self-inductor is I of L, the current through the ideal capacitor is I of C, and the current through the resistor is I of R. An ideal self-inductor is an inductor which has no ohmic resistance. Now we use the word steady state. If you had a circuit like this and you connect it with a cosinusoidal in time changing voltage, then all kinds of weird things will begin in the will start in the beginning. For sure it will not immediately start to oscillate with this omega frequency omega. And we discussed that, I discussed that in great detail, I think in 803, maybe also some in 802. So there is a period where the system goes bananas, but ultimately, ultimately, it will only be driven and only follow omega t. And that's what we call the steady state. Steady state means that you wait a long time so that all transient phenomena have died out. So the transient phenomena start the moment that you start this voltage, driving the system with this voltage, all kinds of weird things happen. We're not asking you about these weird things. Then you have to write down, of course, differential equations and solve them. That's not my objective here. My objective here is to test you whether physics is in your blood. Steady state means that you wait a long time so that all transient phenomena die, die out. Don't even think of writing down a differential equation. This problem is designed to see whether you have an appreciation for how a capacitor and a self and doctor behave in extreme situations. Extreme is, of course, as you will see later with question A, that we make omega zero, and then question B, I believe we make omega infinitely large. But just wait until I show you the questions. So this problem is designed to see whether you have an appreciation for how a capacitor and a self inductor behave in extreme situations. No fancy mass is needed. I stress that. Express all your answers in terms of L, R, C and V0. Okay, if you're now ready, we go to the questions. 
Question number one. What are the maximum values of I of L, I of C, and I of R in case that the frequency of the driving voltage omega is zero? Zero frequency means that the power supply is now a simple battery with zero internal resistance. We are asking you for steady state solutions, not transient solutions. In other words, you turn the battery on and then you wait quite some time. The whole system is then coming into a steady state situation. There's no changes anymore. And we want to know when there are no changes anymore, what is I of L, I of C, and what is I of R. Second question. Answer the same question as under A. For the other extreme, when omega approaches a value which is very, very high, consider it infinitely high. We are not testing you remembering physics equations. I'm testing you for concepts. Physics is not about equations. Physics is about concepts. Third question. Do you expect the maximum value of the current IR to be higher or lower than the value you found under A in the case that the frequency is somewhere in between the above two extremes? That means the extremes between I and B when the system is in steady state. And then I would like you to give your reasons. So do you expect the maximum value of the current IR to be higher or lower than the value you found under A in the case that the frequency is somewhere in between the above two extremes? Now comes D, which is undoubtedly the hardest. And I don't blame you at all if you can't handle D. There is one frequency in steady state for which I of R is zero. This is not intuitive. But given the fact that this is so, what do you think that frequency is? Please try not to calculate this frequency. Because there is D, it probably falls outside high school. Well, it's an interesting question. There is one frequency in steady state for which I of R is zero. So there is no current going through R. This is not so intuitive, but given the fact that this is so, what do you think that frequency is? Please do not even try to calculate this frequency. All right, good luck, all the best. If you can't do it, we'll be friends anyhow. That's not important for me. And if you can't do it, that's not, should really not be too much of a problem for you, unless you do JE advanced. Then you should absolutely kill this one. All right. Have a nice day and take care.